All right, Shalom, Makim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Hawashai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that's teaching his word in all true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to get into how the Lord is about to show himself which we in the beginning stages of it by the way of the prophets declaring his intentions and it's not like uh we're coming with this modern form of christianity you know god loves everyone and it's be cool and give you know say neighbor you know on that spirit no, I'm coming to tell you that Yahweh Bashim is about to bring forth death and destruction, man. You know? And that's the balance. You know, you we talk about deliverance, you know, to be rescued and saved. But from what? The things the Lord Yahweh Bashim is about to bring upon the planet Earth, man. So, matter of fact, let's start off with this in the book of Psalms. Chapter 145. And I started, uh, I started verse four. It reads, One generation shall praise thy works to another. See, and that's what you're saying. You see, men of old, uh, you know, which are the prophets, being raised up to declare the works to Yahweh of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. We're declaring the works of the Lord. It says, and shall declare thy mighty acts. See, and that's what we're doing. When we say, Yahweh is going to, uh, you know, overthrow America. That's the mighty act of the Lord. Hey, this is a mighty act. It talks about how he was frustrated with the tokens of the liars. That was in the same breath was, uh, with the Lord stretching forth the heavens and making all things, man. So we in a monumental time. You know, that mighty act, the Lord completely destroying America, man. In a fashion it's going to be in, you know, via World War Three, as well as the fire from the chariots. That's that's the climax. You know, that's the climax. But even before that, uh, all these troubles and turmoil, man, is going to take place. Just like in the time of Egypt. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. <clears throat> Second Ezra 15, I start at verse 10. It reads, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the solar. I would not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And, and we going through this process now. Beginning mentally. Talks about how we shall no more stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon uh, pretty much the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Shah, in truth. You know, so we're we're uh, uh, departing from this place spiritually, but, it, but it, the Lord is going to actually physically get us from this place. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. See, Yahweh Shah, man. The Lord is going to actually come and pluck us up from this place, man. It says, and smite Egypt with plagues as before. See? And will destroy all the land thereof. And that shows that this is not talking about ancient Egypt. Because that land is still there today. Actually, it's a McDonald's over there. So, this is actually concerning America. Because that, that last... That judgment, that last line shows you that, you know, Babylon the Great was, that was promised, you know, to be totally annihilated. And when you go into the judgments of Edom, it's all, it's still, all of it is still pointing to America and the so-called white man. You know, but it said the, the, the players is going to come as before. So guess what? What was a part of the players of Egypt? The uh, blackouts. You know, uh, you had the water that was defiled. 
and their blood in the water, the locusts. You know, the Lord killed the firstborn. Hey, all these things are going to come back in a major way. See, Egypt, that was an actual event that took place on earth. That actually happened. You know, but guess what? Even in that, that was it was prophetic. The Lord was going to do it once again as perfection in America. That's why I was topped off by saying the Lord is going to destroy the whole land thereof, man. But these are the mighty acts of the Lord that we're declaring. These are the things that's coming on the earth. It says, this is Psalm 145 and 5. It says, I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous work. See? And when you go into the works of the Lord, you know, uh, especially in this time period, being in this system and uh, the influence of the so-called white man, when you think of the works of the Lord, you know, people might think of trees, the birds, you know, pretty much the creation in a nutshell. But no, the scenarios, of the, the, so like you, the works of the Lord are these scenarios. Yeah, how about some else I have declared in fashion, man. Matter of fact, let's get this in the book of Psalms, chapter 66. And uh, in verse 5, it reads, come and see the works of the Most High. See, the works of the Most High, as I mentioned. When you hear that, you think of the trees and or you might take it a step further. You might go into space and the sun and the moon and the different heavenly bodies, which that is a part of the work. But let's see what it says. It says he it says, come and see the works of the most high. He is terrible in his doing <laughs> toward the children of men. <laughs> so the, 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 the terrible doings. The terrible acts of Yahweh by Shemalshah. Those are the works of the Lord that we're declaring. And we seeing it manifested throughout the earth, man. You know? So going back to Psalm 145. So that's the works of the Lord. The, the wondrous works. And they are wonderful. They are, they are above uh, human comprehension. That's why you got to have the Holy Spirit on you to rejoice when you hear this. When you hear the concern of the, the destruction and these evils, uh, that's that's pleasing to our ears. Why? Because this is concerning the will of the Lord, man. Psalm 145 and verse, verse 6, it says, And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts. <laughs> See? And I will declare thy greatness. See those terrible acts. Those are the, the, the wondrous works of the Lord. And that's what we're here to tell you. The Lord is bringing nothing but evil, man. And only evil. And we seeing it manifesting throughout the earth. You know, this is the intents and purposes of Yahweh by Hashem outside. You know, this is how you're going to know the Lord. Matter of fact, uh, stand in the book of Psalms, Psalms 9 and 16. It says the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is known. By the judgment which he executed. See? This is how the Lord is known. It says, The wicked is snared in the work of his own hand. He gives a lot. So as you can see, uh, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. But those judgments have to be declared first. You know? These things have to be spoken into existence. So when it manifests, you'll know it was Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Let's get that in the book of Isaiah chapter 42. And I start at verse 8. It reads, I am the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to graven images. See? So the name of the Lord and his reputation, you know, it will not be given to another. Uh, you know, uh, idol, uh, 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 a false god, you know, some deity, you know, that these people hold in, uh, in high esteem, man. Whether it's JC or Buddha, nigga might say Allah or um, Graham Cracker. That's a new one, you know. We saying, yeah, how about Shima Shah is going to do these things, man? See, when it comes down to the MOTB, the C-Hilt, 
the Lord's name is on that. Yahweh by Hashem outside. So when it takes place, you'll know what's who's the source of it. Yeah, you might say the so-called white man, but who will fashion it and shake this man's mind to to lead him to this event? Yahweh by Hashem outside. You know, uh, the uh, the destruction. That's going to go back to your by Shema You ain't going to say nobody else did it. But the Lord, man. Why? Because, matter of fact, verse 9, it reads, Behold, the former things are come to pass. <laughs> See? Man, what was one of those former things? Noah and the flood. That's well known and coming. With all the nations. All the nations have a form of the flood. Uh story of the flood because that was an actual event show you that uh that was an actual event and take place all these nations have an account you know of, of a great flood why is that because that was one of those former things that came to pass man sodom and gomorrah egypt the rise and fall of it. all those things were spoken and declared and it came to pass it says and new things do i declare which in these times America being destroyed. You know? These are the, this is the intents and purposes of Yahweh by Hashem I was man. But you see, it's declared first. It have to be spoken. It says before they spring forth, I tell you of them. See and show you these are words of life, man. You know? But the point is, is what you're gonna know the Lord by the way of these terrible acts. But these things are spoken first, and once it spring upon you, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna, uh, you know, spring upon you like a line. I talks about how the evil waited for thee. It's watching thee, man. You know, but these things are gonna spring forth. It shows you that's that's life. The Lord is gonna tell you, and that's why you have the prophets to bring forth these things. Let's get a few um Amos Amos chapter three and verse six. It reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? See? That in itself show you that this trumpet that's being blown is not of a festive one. The proper reaction when you see the prophets, when you see the prophet in this message that we bring forth. The proper reaction is to be afraid to fear. Not us, but Yahweh by Shemal Shah, the one who sent us, man. Yahweh Shah. It says, Shall there be evil in the city? Hey, that show you. That's what the trumpet, that's what we're blowing. That trumpet of evil. It says, Shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord have not done it. See? Because the Lord telling you he's going to do it. Oh, when you read Ezekiel 33. Scripture says, uh, the Lord said, when I send a sword upon the land, the Lord take full responsibility of the destruction that's that's about to bring forth. And, and you know, he's using his men to declare it. You know, the Lord, you know, using his men to say, yeah, the Lord, he's going to, you know, that messenger talks about don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> you know, we the heralds. You know what I mean? You know, the mouthpiece of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. This trumpet we're blowing is a, a trumpet of evil to come. But who's bringing it? The Lord said, have he not done it? He ain't had his hands in this? Whether well, it was the Syrians that came and siege, besieged you, or the Greeks, or all the way to the day, these Americans, these Edomites, the Lord was the one that brought forth the evils, man. You know, not a family end off on this, just going back because the Lord, he's going to make himself known, man, you know, and it's going to be by the way of the terrible acts, you know, the evils, the distress and anguish. This is how you're going to know you how by Shema Shai through death by pain, man. That's how they learn in the uh, flood, in the time of the flood. They they got a, a, a full understanding of the Lord once they was drowning, man. They knew what Noah was talking about then. They understood rain then. They understood jasmine then, you know? 
So this is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 7. It reads, And if it things without life, given sound, whether well, piped or heart, except they give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or heart? And, and this in itself shows that we are inspired, you know, that breath within us. You know, that thing without life, these different with that instrument of the Lord. And Yahweh by Shemel is 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 breathing through us, man. You know, that Holy Spirit. And we giving a distinct sound on what spirit you should be in. It should be a spirit of urgency, man. You know, and, uh, you know, anticipation. It says for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound. Who shall prepare himself to the battle? See, so let's show you what type of spirit. You should be in a spirit of, uh, you know, it, it tells about it's, it's going to be a time of war. And that's why we have to put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shah. You know, that we may be able to withstand in the evil days, man. Because the Lord is, is we're in the beginning stages of Yahweh by Shah pouring forth his wrath. And it begins by the way of um, his men declaring it, you know. And ultimately, you're going to see it on display by the way of experiencing it, you know. So, yeah, I can, man, I just hope that we edify and like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechai, Kudash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect, they teaching the word in our true faith and sincerity.